so things are going well. Check it out, look, you got milk right there. Sorry, I just got dropped into this situation. It's gonna heat as fast as the water will allow. Please God, let the water heat this thing. Easy as that, problem solved. You know, the problem with intermittent fasting when it comes to your eat window, if baby's hungry, you're not the one eating at one o'clock. You're making sure that they eat first and then you get to eat. But she's so damn cute. You're so adorable. Even though my blood sugar is dropping out of reasonable levels. This is full contact baby feeding. <laughs> when you've been trying to get your child to go to sleep for two hours. I am calm. This is our morning. Take baby and dog for a walk. And listening to the subtle art of not giving a fuck. Just started. It's actually pretty good. I'm on my way to pick up uh, or I guess do the testing for renewing my CPR AED. It's a balmy 105 today. Let's get this test on. Let's see if I can once again pass my CPR AED. I did it. Bam. It says American Red Cross first aid CPR certified. I can now save you, but in all honesty, every time I get into the class and I realize that it actually is practical and I actually like taking the class. I would highly encourage if you're not first aid CPR certified, go take a class. It's like a half a day. The way that I did it, I actually took all of my coursework online and I showed up for the testing protocol. You walk out with a nifty little pin, so I encourage you to do it. Go get your first aid CPR. I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. I'm like running on about an hour and a half deficit. So fun uh, catch up. Took my first aid CPR, as you saw, and uh, had a great use for my first aid CPR on myself yesterday. So those of you that don't know, uh, about a year and a half ago, I almost degloved my ring finger. I did deglove my ring finger. Didn't almost. Took everything from about here off. And last night I was trying to fix a bike. The wrench slipped and I gouged my finger pretty decently. So immediately, went into using my first aid CPR knowledge on myself. Not how I envisioned using it, but it was helpful nonetheless. You, call 911. You, go get a first aid kit. You, get an AED. Probably could've used a couple stitches, but I think it's gonna be fine. And, got a workout in this morning still, so I can still grab, not that bad. So that's thing number one. Thing number two, uh, what's thing number two? I don't remember thing number two. Good morning, John. Good morning. What are we doing? We're gonna go work out really, really early in the morning. All right, we are out here at Balboa Park, where people are meeting up uh, for the November project, and we're gonna go explore what the November project is. There's an athletic looking person. Excuse me, you look athletic. Excuse me, athletic looking man. Yeah, look at this. So this was actually built, Balboa Park was built for a World's Fair. It's just these awesomely old, like Spanish revival buildings. Mm. It's just a cool place. Oh, we got 20 minutes. Hi, you're athletic. Are you November Foundation? Do you November Foundation? <laughs> Is that what you say? We're following the running people because we don't actually know where we're supposed to be. Oh, it smells like fried chicken out here. It's got to be 85 already, 90. All right, guys, let's bring it in. Let's round it up. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good job, guys. Nice job. That was rough. Look at this crowd. This is insane. Um, this was the November project in San Diego. First time coming. It was PR day. Hill sprints and burpees. Ascending burpees for every round. And this crowd is infectious. The energy is amazing here. This is a super cool experience. I can definitely see coming back to this. Would you come back? Absolutely. Yeah. Amazing first time experience. Great fucking work today, that was awesome. Yeah. Hi right, guys, we are here post-workout with Eugene. What's up? So Eugene and I just met Sunday. So I show up today and I can't feel my quads anymore. <laughs> So, Eugene, you want to tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about it, man? Sure. Well, November Project is a grassroots free fitness group. We uh, started here about four years ago, and the whole idea is just show up, get in a good workout, meet some strangers, maybe hug some strangers, uh, Dude, and bring that positivity into the day. There's a lot so. of hugging happening today. A ton of hugging. It is my kind of work. I love 
hugging. Like I tried to shake hands many times and many times got stopped with I'm a sure hug. a lot of people gave you the, no, 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 we hug here. Yeah. Um, I have been coming out for about three and a half years. Okay. Um, and I've been uh, helping co-lead and organize the workouts for about a year and a half now. What I, what I was particularly grabbed by was just the sheer volume of people that were here. Sure. We do this thing where we tell people to drop a verbal and if someone says, yes, I will be there, you kind of expect them to be there. And so it's a lot more than just a workout. It really is a community in the truest sense of the word. I mean, there are people here who have become um, really good friends outside the workout a lot of people who have like really crushed goals just meeting other people who are like-minded and find training partners and uh, yeah it's just a great format to come and meet some new people I met four people that I know that were here yeah I was like oh wait you do this somebody is they've got a real life they don't have a gym membership they are just trying to make it mm. and they just want to be healthier happier what's your message to them? Uh, I would say just once just show up just come one time. It's a very unassuming environment. I think a lot of people kind of default to, I'm not fit enough, um, you know, oh, it's a little too early, or it takes a little bit of extra courage to just show up one time um, and really kind of feel the vibe and understand um, that sometimes that's all it takes is just waking up a little extra earlier, coming out and feeling a little uncomfortable for a little bit. But uh, yeah, there are people out here who are willing to, to help you out and help you meet your goals. Yeah. 175 people out here to help you hit your goals asking nothing in return other than you show up. That's it. This is Dark Horse Rowing. I'm Shane Farmer. We are at the November Project. Woo! Wednesday morning, PR day, my first day. Amazing workout. Thanks, Eugene. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it, man.